بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسائر المرسلين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد أعزائي طلاب الفرقة الرابعة شعبة اللغة الإنجليزية محاسبة اليوم بمشيئة الله تعالى لقائنا مع الفصل السابع من كتاب محاسبة البنوك تحت عنوان Evaluation of Banking Performance المحاضرة دي مفروض ان معادها 27 أبريل 2020 وان شاء الله يعني نختتم بها مؤقتا هذا الكورس في هذا الترم إلا إذا يعني كان هناك يعني مستجدات تتطلب لقاءات أخرى هنبقى على اتصال بإذن الله تعالى. Performance evaluation in commercial banks doesn't change from the performance evaluation in any business organization. Um, it could be more sensitive, more sensitive than uh, other uh, companies or business uh, corporations because uh, the leverage uh, percent, percentage in banks is very high in comparison with uh, any other business organization. Uh, so um, banks in most countries are private business and they are under pressure to meet objectives of their stockholders, employees, depositors and borrowing customers. Uh, each uh, group of the stakeholders of the commercial bank has uh, its objectives. Uh, these objectives could be summarized in uh, two groups. For example, stockholders, uh, stockholders or shareholders are mainly interested in profitability to determine their total return. They need uh, to measure to measure the bank profitability uh, to determine whether their investment is uh, fruitful or not. The second group uh, from the stakeholders are the depositors. Depositors are, uh, and the examiners are interested in bank risk exposure. The depositors uh, uh, interested mainly uh, of the, uh, the risk that the bank exposure to. So uh, we can say that the most important measures or parameters or dimensions of the bank or commercial bank performance evaluation could be uh, basically uh, lies in two basic dimensions. Uh, the dimension number one is uh, profitability and dimension number two is the uh, risk uh, the risk so the uh, uh, basic principles of financial management suggest strongly that maximizing the value of bank stock is the key objective that should have priority over other objectives. Uh, the uh, uh, stock's price, the bank's stock price, 
depend mainly on the stockholder expectation and depositor expectation about the profitability and risk profitability and risk uh, so research evidence has found that bank stock price are sensitive to changes in interest rates currency rates expected dividend to stockholders perceived the level of risk strengths or weakness of the economy that the bank serve so management try to achieve policies that increase future bank earnings future bank earnings or we can say profitability and reduce risk reduce risk or both of them pursue combination of both actions in order to raise profitability and reduce the bank risk so we will try to focus our concern over here on two dimensions profitability and uh, risk profitability and risk to summarize our uh, discussion here we will go directly to some ratios some ratios that measure profitability and some ratios or measures that uh, uh, measure the risk uh, of uh, banks now let us uh, talk about the important or the most important ratio measures of bank profitability now we will uh, uh, talk about some profitability measures these measures uh, are uh, in terms of ratios in profitability ratios as surrogate for market value of the bank stock uh, these ratios um, represent measures of the bank profitability number one return on equity return on equity this uh, is the ratio number one that major bank profitability how to measure return on equity to measure return on equity in commercial bank we have to divide uh, net income after tax by total equity net income after tax divided by total equity uh, it's uh, 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 for uh, uh, of course uh, the more is better this ratio more is better to uh, to to say that the bank uh, profitability is uh, better than uh, others uh, uh, and uh, we have to compare this ratio uh, over time for the same bank over time last uh, few years we have to compare the return on equity on equity this year with the previous years and to see the trend if this uh, ratio is going up is raising uh, this means that the profitability of the bank is good the second measure or the second ratio of profitability in commercial bank is return on assets return on assets this ratio uh, measure the efficiency of management in generating net income from utilizing all 
resources committed to the bank. Uh, how to measure this ratio? We can uh, measure this ratio using this formula, return on assets equal ROA, the abbreviation ROA, return on assets, equals the net income after tax divided by total assets. The major number three is the net interest margin, net interest margin. This um, uh, measure measures how large a spread between interest revenues and interest cost management has been uh, management has been able to achieve over the bank earning asset and pursuit of the cheapest source of funding. How to measure this ratio net interest margin? It is uh, uh, computed as follows. Interest income from loans and the security investments minus interest expenses on deposits and on other debt issued. The interest income minus interest expense. Interest income minus interest expense. We discussed this uh, point too much in chapter one when we talk about the speci specific feature or specific characteristic of the income statement in commercial banks. We remember, remember we said that interest income and interest expense is the major is the major parts or elements in income statement in commercial banks so to measure the bank performance here we use a measure or a ratio called the net interest margin which computed as follow interest income minus interest expense divided by total assets divided by total assets. This ratio is very, very important ratio in commercial banks. The major number four, or ratio number four, net non-interest margin. Net non-interest margin. Uh, you see, uh, banks have revenues from different sources. The major source is the interest income but banks can uh, uh, get uh, revenues from other sources other than interest. Uh, we uh, compute non-interest revenues minus non-interest expenses divided by total asset to compute non-interest margin. Uh, the ratio number five, earnings base in assets. Earning base in assets uh, calculated as total interest uh, or earning assets uh, divided by total assets. Interest assets includes the loans, the lease, security investment divided by total assets. The uh, asset in commercial banks, um, some of these assets uh, produce uh, earnings, produce interest, uh, where some other uh, assets doesn't produce interest. Now we uh, take the total interest assets which uh, includes the loans, the lease, uh, security investment, divided by total asset. It gives us earning base in assets. The ratio of earning asset or earning interest asset, interest assets divided by total assets. Major number six, earning spread, earning spread uh, computed as total interest income uh, minus total interest expense um, total interest income divided by total earning assets 
minus total interest expense uh, divided by total interest bearing liabilities. Uh, the major number seven, net operating margin, net operating margin uh, computed as total operating revenues minus total operating expense divided by total assets. Uh, the major number eight, Net profit margin, net profit margin uh, equals the net income after tax divided by total operating revenues. Uh, major number nine, operating income, operating income or asset utilization. It is computed as total operating income divided by total assets or uh, interest income by total assets plus non-interest income by total assets. Major number 10, equity multiplier equals the total assets divided by total equity. Total assets divided by total equity. Total assets, you, you know, um, divided by total, uh, total equity, equity only. It's a very important measure in commercial bank, which we call it equity multiplier. Equity multiplier. It is um, a special measure for uh, commercial banks and other corporations. Business corporations is not accepted to uh, to to have a multiplier uh, equity multiplier like these in commercial banks uh, total assets uh, equals uh, 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 equity or total equity many 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 times it could uh, come to 10 times like uh, equity uh, major number uh, 11 um, uh, let's uh, go to the second dimension uh, of performance evaluation in commercial banks, which is the risk. Let us talk about some measures of risk uh, measurement in banks. Uh, risk measurements could be uh, via some some. Uh, measures like uh, credit risk. Credit risk could be measured using uh, many, many uh, indicators such as charge off of loans, charge off of loans, which equal net loan loss divided by total loans and leases. Another measure is non-performing loans non-performing loans which equals the non-performing loans divided by total loans and leases major number c annual uh, probable loan loss uh, divided by total loans and lease or annual probable loan loss divided by total equity uh, el, the major number D uh, equals allowance for loan loss. Uh, all of this abbreviation we uh, learned or uh, we uh, discussed before in chapter uh, 4 and in chapter 1. You can go back to these uh, chapters to uh, read uh, more about this abbreviation again. Uh, the major is OALL, allowance for loan loss, divided by total loans and lease, or allowance for loan loss, divided by total equity. This is the uh, parameters that can measure uh, the credit risk. Credit risk. The second major of risk is the liquidity risk. Liquidity risk. You know, liquidity, uh, we, we talk about liquidity many times in many courses before. Include the purchased funds 
divided by total assets. This is one indicator of liquidity risk. Second major is net loans divided by total asset. Third, cash and due from deposit balances at other banks divided by total asset. Uh, the fourth parameter, cash assets and the government securities divided by total assets. The major number three of uh, banks' risks uh, is the market risk, market risk, which measure the probability that the value of assets held by the bank will decline due to failing market prices. Among the most important indicator of market risk are book value of asset divided by estimated market value of the same assets, book value of equity divided by estimated market value of equity. If interest rate increase, market value of fixed income, uh, secu fixed income securities such as bonds and the fixed rate loans will fall. A bank faced with the need to sell this asset will take loss. The major number four of interest uh, is the interest rate risk. Interest rate risk. The bank uh, will affect the risk of uh, the of the risk of interest rate changes changes in interest rate will uh, affect the bank profitability and the bank uh, 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 bank profitability because uh, the b commercial bank uh, charges or charged with uh, interest uh, expense for, uh, on uh, on deposits and uh, uh, gain interest income from loans. So if interest rate changes by the uh, uh, decisions from the central bank, it uh, uh, could affect the profitability and the risk of commercial banks so we have to measure to evaluate the performance of commercial bank we have to measure the interest rate risk uh, interest rate risk could be measured as interest sensitive liability divided by interest sensitive asset and money market borrowing divided by money market asset uh, and insured deposits divided by total deposits. Uh, the major number five is earning risk and earning risk uh, could be uh, measured using standard deviation or vari variance of net income after tax standard deviation or variance of return on equity and the return on assets. The higher the standard deviation or the variance means directly that means more risky the bank earning will be. So the standard deviation and the variance of ROE and the ROA uh, uh, if it is uh, go up or go higher means directly that this uh, bank uh, is exposure to a high risk a high risk so less is better uh, these measures uh, less is better uh, from the regard of uh, ba bank risk uh, the major number six, solvency risk, solvency risk. It is uh, a measure of the debit ratios, debit ratios, uh, uh, you see, uh, 
um, could be measured using the major our parameters such as total equity or market price divided by total asset or market price uh, could be measured also using uh, stock price divided by earning peer share earning peer share or price earnings ratio price earning ratio this ratio often falls if investors come to believe that a bank is undercapitalized relative to the risk it has taken on uh, there is uh, other uh, risks beyond the liquidity and the credit and interest rate and uh, trading risk banks face an assortment of other risk bank that operates internationally will face foreign exchange risk and uh, uh, sovereign risk foreign exchange risk comes from uh, holding assets denominated in one currency and the liabilities denominated in another so uh, banks uh, are expo uh, exposure to uh, many many types of uh, risks other than uh, or more than any other um, business companies uh, because of uh, dealing in foreign currencies foreign currencies such as dollars uh, yen uh, euro bean uh, units uh, euros uh, and so on so uh, these are some measures of uh, risk bank commercial bank risk and some measure of uh, uh, commercial bank uh, profitability um, our this this uh, table summarize uh, some uh, type of risk uh, source of risk recommended responses um, this uh, uh, example is or this uh, this uh, table is very uh, uh, valuable or is very fruitful for you uh, to summarize uh, um, the idea of um, uh, commercial bank risk um, you can you can read it carefully to be able to answer some questions about uh, commercial bank risk uh, because we can uh, formulate some uh, statements in terms of true or false uh, statements uh, from this uh, table so I recommend you to read this table carefully and uh, to um, listen to the solution of uh, some examples that will be um, uh, sent to you uh, uh, from uh, sections and this examples will be very important for the practical part of this chapter and uh, I think that um, this chapter, uh, the the theoretical part of this chapter is uh, is covered uh, well now, and I'll stop here. And uh, if uh, we have enough time to meet you again, we'll talk about uh, some other issues. But if uh, we if this <coughs> lecture was the last one uh, I'll give you uh, some insights about the final exam final exam will uh, contain some essay questions and some 
uh, questions in terms of true or false in addition to some uh, problems or uh, examples um, as uh, usual I uh, re recommend you to focus on the uh, uh, problems and examples that has been solved or produced to you via uh, sections it will be uh, under um, uh, considerations and highly recommended and I give you uh, some uh, 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 insights about uh, the, the final exam via the um, uh, if if we have another meeting i'll tell you more but if this lecture is the last one i recommend you to review the uh, lectures that we have uh, uh, taken before the uh, distance learning and the lectures we uh, produced or delivered via the 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 distance learning uh, and uh, i'll uh, i'll uh, um, try to make the final exam uh, easier and uh, i hope you good luck and recommend you to do your best and see you inshallah uh, soon uh, in the final exam and uh, in after graduation بإذن الله تعالى السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته